welcome back to our second installment of our condiment series. Today we're going to be making what I think is probably the world's best condiment. It's called tzatziki. It's a Mediterranean uh, yogurt-based condiment, typically associated with the Greek Isles, but it is absolutely delicious. So I've got my stuff here. We're going to walk you through this. It's super, super simple, super healthy, and just goes on everything. All right, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing is first, you've got to get your ingredients ready. I've got a mixing bowl, I've got a cucumber, I've got a little cucumber. This guy we're going to grate. That's why I've got a box grater here. And then when we grate them, we're going to drain them to see. Then we've got our yogurt. This is non-fat uh, Greek yogurt, 0%. Let me get my knife out of here. It's hell getting old, you know? So here's my knife. All right. First thing I'm going to do is chop up our dill. This is a whole, this is about 10 dill fronds here, baby dill. You can use dried stuff for this, but the fresh really does work quite well. So we're just gonna give this a nice run through our knife here, stems and all, all of it. These are, you notice I'm doing about quarter inch chunks here. All right, so there we go. Now these part, this bit we can discard. There we go, there's our dill. That's a lot of dill. That's, if you were gonna use dried stuff, the equivalent would be four or five tablespoons. It's a lot. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we have a baby cucumber here. So this sauce is based on cucumbers uh, and yogurt. And then we're just going to chunk this guy up. We're going to split it down the middle, okay? Like this, like this, okay? And then give him a nice rough chop. Not super fine, and we want some chunks of cucumber in here. This is the only cucumber that's going to go in here fully formed. So. Uh, every, all the other cucumber here is going to be grated and drained. Okay, there we go. And I've got this, and this, and I've got my yogurt. This is a uh, zero, like I said, non-fat Greek yogurt. This is a oikos. You can use, um, you know, anything really. But I like this. I also like faye, which is great. I've got a fork here because this is really the best tool for the job. And this is a quart container of Greek yogurt. I'm going to use almost all of this. And actually, you know what? I'm going to use the entire thing. So this much yogurt, right? Now, it's it's 0% fat, and it's really, really healthy for you. So that is that was, that was 32 ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. And now we got to deal with our cucumber. So I'm going to start by cutting this guy in half and then peeling it. This is an English cucumber. Um, and skinless, seedless, and I've got a my colander here, All right, I'm going to use that to drain this, and the, the dill in there is fine, but you can just stick it on the bottom, it doesn't really matter, okay, and the liquid we're going to get off of this is really going to be kind of amazing, so most of the time people will tell you to shred this and then salt it, okay, and that's true, but Again, this guy, this contains everything you need. So if you use my dust season, you don't have to worry about the salt. You see the big parts of the box grater here? We are just going to go ahead and grate this guy right into this column, just like this. See? Now sometimes you may come out, come away thinking that you've done too much, or you know, with, a, with half of a cucumber this size, but it's really not. Uh, similar to spinach, cucumbers are about 99% water. So by the time the water drains out of these, these are going to be significant. It's going to be significantly less. And also the yogurt having is getting uh, coming up to temp there, coming up to like room temperature. It's been in the fridge, and that's going to make it easier to work with as well. So you can see our box grater here getting full. And you notice this doesn't look like a ton of cucumber, right? But that's really all we need. And once we drain it, it's gonna be nice and uh, flavorful without getting too much water into our mix. Now don't break your fingernail, don't break your fingernails because you know we've all done that one too many times. And there we go. Okay. Now this guy, if you if you like more cucumber than that, you can, you can put more in there. I I'm okay with this right now because I've got that little cucumber in there. So this little end piece, we're just going to stick him right here. All right. Shake that out. And that's half of that giant cucumber. 
Uh, you can put more in. Um, I think I think we're okay though. I think we're all right. So over the this is gonna sit over this bowl and drain. And then I'm just gonna season this lightly with my dust mix. Alright, and what this is gonna do is help pull out some of that moisture out of the uh, out of the cucumbers. And you'll see, we're going to leave this sit for about two minutes. And it's about 65 degrees out here now in Pennsylvania today um, when I'm shooting this. And so you're going to end up with, uh, it's going to happen pretty quickly. It's going to drain. And as we see this colander, you're going to see a lot of, of water come out of that. So the next, what we're going to do is finish our mixing. Now. This is some garlic that I minced up. It's three cloves. You can do less if you want. I like a lot of garlic. Not a lot of people do. Juice of three lemons. All right. You may need more acid, but again, like we were talking about with our salad dressings episode, the uh, fat to acid ratio is usually three to one. Now this is more like nine to one, but the water in the cucumbers kind of thins it out a little bit. So to get this seasoned up properly, this is my dust, my all purpose dust. Now again, this has a lot of Mediterranean flavors in it that you're gonna be familiar with. So. It's going to work. Garlic powder, onion powder, and the reason some people use more garlic than this, but I don't because I use a combination of fresh garlic and garlic powder. Right? Now you can see this water, it's already forming in here from the yogurt and the other uh, cucumbers we put in there just as chunks. Okay, That's why we have to drain that so it gets nice as, and dry as possible. Now you can drain your Greek yogurt through cheesecloth if you want, but honestly, eh. It's really not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste and see where we are with seasoning. Now the other thing to remember with uh, tzatziki or any kind of cream-based dressing, kind of like with the ranch, they the flavors will meld over time, That's good. and they will get stronger. So we got a nice tartness from the lemon. So what I'm going to do, and this is a thing that they do in Greece, uh, red wine vinegar a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, just a little bit. That was about a tablespoon. It's not gonna be super acidic um, because that yogurt has a lot of body to it. And then we're just gonna add some sweetness with the old white balsamic trick and we should be done seasoning wise. I'm gonna taste this one more time after I get another spoon out of my bag of tricks. And that's, all right, another fork. That guy can go over here. Um, now let's see here. Okay. Let's taste this one more time. Okay, we're almost there. We just needed a little bit of sweetness. And this is where our white balsamic is going to come in. And again, what's great about this is that using white balsamic vinegar, because it is so naturally sweet uh, and, doesn't pro and also provides a little bit of acidic bite, it kind of mimics the addition of sugar and tricks your brain into thinking you've got a ton of sugar in there as opposed to uh, you're just putting a pound of sugar in it. <laughs> All right, so we're good here. Uh, and I got to get a third fork or a spoon or whatever else. Nope, that's not the fork. And... So our last fork here, I have two more forks out here. I'm sorry about that, but kind of doing this on the fly. What I've heard from you guys is that you like when I do stuff kind of off the cuff like this. Um, and by the way, every video I do is off the cuff. I don't script a damn thing. <laughs> I just sit here and cook for you and see how everything goes. Um, okay, now that's perfect. And what's great about that is it's gonna get better and better the longer it sits in your fridge. I'm just gonna give it one more quick pinch of dust here, and then that's gonna be it. The last taste I'm gonna do, by the way, after I mix this all together, this guy here is what I'm gonna taste with, because right? that's gonna be the last utensil I use. You never wanna test, taste uh, dips like this that other people may have right? with something you can see. Look, this has been sitting here for about two minutes. You see how much water we got out of there. I'm going to leave it sit for another minute or so, and I'll come back to you in a bit after this is all done.
All right, we're back. Um, you see that consistency? Now that's perfect. If you go to a Greek restaurant or if you go anywhere that has this, and doesn't look, kind of look like this, then it's not the right thing. But uh, this is great stuff, so let's taste it. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, again, this is a statue of David. I will try to get out of the, <laughs> try to get the bottom out of the shot. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy this one. You're going to love it. It's going to be up on the website soon. Cheers.